Hello all you humans, Tony and Allison with Blue Lion with a new video about the elusive PPPA loan forgiveness application. Hot off the press. Uh, so this came out on Friday. Uh, it's a lot of great information that a lot of people have been waiting for. It answers a lot of questions that we've had. Um, like everything, the government uh, put stuff out real fast and then when everything got into play and we were actually using the, the numbers and calculating the numbers, it was getting a little difficult. Um, one of the great things that came from this loan calculation um, is the covered period. So originally the statement was the covered period was the day your loan was uh, funded. So the day your funds got into your bank account, eight weeks from that day. Uh, there was a large challenge with payroll frequencies and how that lined it, lined up for your payroll cost. Uh, based on the original legislation, the cost had to be incurred and paid during the period. Mm -hmm. We've gotten a little bit of fluctuation on that. Yeah. So they're defining it uh, as an alternative payroll covered period. So let's say my loan was funded on a Thursday and I'm a weekly pay cycle that goes Sunday to Saturday. They're allowing you to start your eight week covered period for purposes of calculating the payroll cost only. Um, to start on that following Sunday. So that first day of the first per pay period following when your funds were distributed. Uh, and then it would go eight weeks from that. The more important thing is they're also allowing that last week of your eighth week of covered alternative payroll covered period for you to make payment on your regularly scheduled next payroll cycle. So originally a lot of payroll companies and CPAs were kind of being like, yeah, how are we gonna pay? And freaking how out. Are we yeah, talking about doing off cycle payroll payments and things like that. And, you know, some employers don't want their employees knowing that they needed to get these funds. So it makes it a lot easier for everyone. You can just keep paying your employees as you have been. So they're allowing that flexibility, which is great. Yeah, I think it's very helpful because uh, anybody who does payroll knows that changing a payroll cycle sucks it. It sucks. Not fun. The other thing that's great about the COVID is a lot of us have been staying at home with our children uh, and we're having to do a lot of math problems. The great thing is it's going to come in handy when calculating here. There's a lot of uh, adding, dividing, multiplying, uh, if then statements. So it does, it is 11 pages. There's a lot of worksheets to get through. Definitely take the time and go through it. It's very clear instructions on exactly how to calculate it. Um, the other thing that's important that they've included in, in here is regarding your full-time equivalents. Um, if you had a reduction in staff due to the COVID during the period of February 15th through April 26th, you actually cannot apply for your loan forgiveness until after June 30th of 2020. Uh, the reason for that is one of the questions is how many full-time equivalents or FTEs did you have on June 30th? Obviously. If I had a reduction from February to that period of time, I obviously need to wait until June 30th to make that statement. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. And that's something that's changed as well because a lot of uh, the messaging before was eight weeks of your loan mm -hmm. and then 30 days later you got to certify for the forgiveness if you qualify and some people who jumped on that loan quick might come in to their eight weeks right now. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 good that they're bringing that back and that they're pushing it back so that the cycle makes more sense because I'm pretty sure knowing a lot of the clients we deal with, almost 99.9% .9 like germs get killed of people had a reduction of some kind mm -hmm. in their workforce. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Definitely make sure you're touching base with your payroll providers, your CPAs, making sure you're getting all your numbers. Even if you did have that reduction, definitely take the time to pull this down now. Look at it, look at the numbers, look at what you need to be doing. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are still providing free advice for any small business if it's a COVID-related question, which the PPP loan would cover. If we don't have the answer, we have a great resource of uh, networks that we can rely on for those things, so don't hesitate to reach out. Absolutely. And as always, don't forget to like and share this video so your friends can be as smart as you are.